Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Just wanted to come and show you the henna tattoo that I just got. I was trying to get someone to record it while I um, was getting it, but that was a fail. So I just have to record it afterwards. It's starting to dry up. So basically with the henna, they do it um, with this kind of clay stuff and you have to let it dry for an hour. And then you start to peel it off and it leaves the aftermath. And I wish I would have known that because I would have walked around and shopped before I got it. I actually got the tattoo first. And then I went in Sephora and I went in Bath and Body Works. And I looked it crazy because I was trying to keep my bracelets from hitting the tattoo. So I was walking around all crazy like trying to let it dry. As you can see, I did mess it up right here in the corner where it started to run. Because this is my first time getting a henna tattoo and had I known you have to let it dry for an hour I would have went around and shopped first and then I would have got the tattoo and kind of sat in the food court um I'm not too I like it I like the design I wanted more flowers in my design so when I go to get it again I'm just going to be more specific with her as far as what I want my fingers are so skinny that it's so hard to get, you know, a lot of design in there. But she could have put more, like another flower in the middle part or something. But I do like it. I do think it's cute. I wanted to get it before my birthday. And that's what I did. So this is my first henna tattoo. I've heard horror stories, side effects, whatever, whatever. I have not had any as of yet. That remains to be seen. Um, I got it done in my local mall. It was $20. They were $20 and up, but this one was $20, probably because it was so small and didn't have to have so much work done to it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to the house and just allow this thing to dry. She said to let it dry for an hour and then peel it off and then don't get it wet for at least five to six hours afterwards. So I got it done at 5.30. It's 5.48, 49. So 6.30, I guess I can start peeling it off. And then when I take a shower tonight, I guess I'll be looking crazy because I'll be hanging one hand out of the shower to make sure it doesn't get wet. I don't want to mess it up. And if you're not familiar with henna, she said that it will last for two weeks, 14 days, and then it will start to fade away. So if you ever go to get a henna, I guess the first thing you should know is to just have time to just sit still after you get it done so that you don't mess it up. If you have to go to a mall or somewhere like I'm going, just walk around and shop first and then go get your henna so that way um, it's not a problem. And then also I'm right handed. So this is real retarded for me because I'm having to do everything with my left hand. And boy, let me tell you, I feel crazy. I got to write with my left hand. I got to get my credit card out with my left hand get my money out with my left hand it is crazy so I think I kind of suggest your first henna if it's on the hand to be on the hand that you do not do anything with or do not write with because I feel like I'm gonna mess it up so the best thing for me to do is just go to the house and allow this thing to dry and do what it needs to do as you can see it's already starting to dry and crackle but she said the longer you leave it on the darker the tattoo will be underneath so I am gonna leave it on for the full hour all right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, guys, and here is the hour update. So I let the henna stay on for an hour. It peeled off, and this is what it looks like after an hour. Um, I feel like it's a little light for us, you know, dark skin, you know, colored women. Um, luckily, my skin is not too pigmented where you can still see it. Um, you can see where I messed it up right there when I didn't let it dry all the way before it peeled. We'll see how long um, I get some color out of this. Supposed to be 14 days. Uh, I feel like the lighter the skin, the better the henna. I may, I know they have like henna kits at like Hobby Lobby and Michaels and stuff like that. And I may, you know, I would love to do this from time to time, but $20 to me is a little bit too much considering this doesn't, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Okay, once it peels, it's not very noticeable on the skin tone like it's really noticeable on the camera right now but once i start walking around with it and go outside and stuff like that it's really not that noticeable on my skin tone i feel like it's something that i probably need to do myself versus twenty dollars every time if i can um i do like it i'm glad i got it i've always wanted one i just thought it would be a little bit darker or maybe they should have a little bit darker ink 
for you know women of color who want to get the henna so when it i guess it stains so when it stains the stain uh turns out to be a little bit darker than this but i guess it's dark enough i mean you can see it i just was a little disappointed i think i kind of wanted it to be just a little bit darker you can see the lighter spots where it's a little bit light there darker on this end and i did leave it on for an hour actually a little bit more than an hour before it started to peel off so no complications to it it was a little bit itchy while it was drying and cracking it itched a little bit i kind of wanted to scratch but other than that i'm going to go ahead and enjoy this henna for the next 14 days make the best out of it flood your instagram timeline with henna pictures and that's it so if you have any other questions that i may have missed leave them down below you guys know i'll chat back i answer don't forget to thumbs up and share the video and i'll see you guys next time